If you haven't noticed yet, let me tell you right now. Nike is ramping things up for Victor Wembanyama. For what exactly? A signature shoe. See, about a week ago, photos of Wemby's upcoming Alien PE of the Nike GT Hustle 2 have surfaced. A few days later, Nike posted an Instagram video about Wemby's logo with the brand. And just very recently, in an exclusive event in Paris, Nike showcased a prototype of what could possibly be Wemby's first ever signature shoe. Things are building up, so let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Bear. Smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. Back in November 20, 2023, I posted a video explaining how Nike is beginning to set up Wemby as its next signature athlete and what to expect from his first signature shoe. Roll the clip. If history teaches us anything, it's that getting a first signature shoe from Nike is not a walk in the park. There are conditions in the contract that need to be satisfied. While the specific conditions will vary from one player to another, the basic idea is that the player should perform at an optimum level. For Wemby, I won't be surprised if one condition is for him to win the Rookie of the Year award. Of course, there will be several other conditions. But if those conditions are met in his rookie season, it's all green and good to go for Wemby's first signature shoe with Nike. I'm guessing it will be a low top shoe for unrestrained range of motion at the ankle. It might use a foam midsole with a zoom unit at the heel, or if Nike wishes to splurge right out of the gate, a full length zoom strobal unit will do wonders. Then the overall design will most likely showcase some French features similar to how Nike designed the Sabrina 1 with some Romanian cultural hints. I mentioned in that video the Rookie of the Year award as a condition. This is not without basis as you shall see. If Wemby wins Rookie of the Year, that's one more reason for us to see him getting his first signature shoe sooner than later. If Nike's habits teach us anything, it's that Nike endorsers who win Rookie of the Year tend to get their first signature shoe within about two years of winning the award. For example, Jean Morant won the Rookie of the Year in 2020, then in late December 2022, the Ja won was unveiled. Kyrie Irving won the award in 2012, then in early December 2014, the Kyrie one was unveiled. Kevin Durant won the award in 2008, then in late February 2009, the KD one was unveiled. LeBron James won the award in 2004, but his first signature shoe, the Nike Air Zoom Generation, actually came out earlier. Now, before you raise your pitchforks, of course, not all Nike Rookies of the Year were given a signature shoe. The award is not the only basis for sneaker brands, Nike in particular, to hand out a first signature shoe. There are a few other things which Wemby also seems to have. One of those other things is marketability with performance-based popularity as the underlying factor. Now to put things in perspective, a Rookie of the Year should have good on-court performance. Wemby has the performance part, the award itself being just a step away. But is he popular? He seems so, and there seems to be little to no doubt about it. The next question is, is Wemby marketable? All the signs say he is, otherwise Nike wouldn't bother spending time and resources featuring Wemby in its campaigns. Wemby has been one of the faces of the Nike GT Hustle 2 back when the shoe was launched, and in fact Nike has the Alien PE ready to drop. And speaking of this alien concept, Nike has been showcasing this idea as early as August 2023, which I made a video about. Roll the clip. Even before this is the fact that Nike released a promo video back in August showing Wemby as some sort of an extraterrestrial, like an alien. Not from here, but that is someone else's tagline. If you know, you know. Going back, the marketing campaign seems to further drum up the hype in Wemby at the time, which is an attempt to solidify Nike's affiliation with Wemby. 
This brings us to the Nike Wemby 1 prototype. In a recent Nike event in Paris which featured Air or Athlete Imagined Revolution, we see a prototype of Wemby's first signature shoe. To be sure, it's a prototype, a tangible execution of a concept which means the Nike Wemby 1 could look partially or entirely different. Nevertheless, the shoe was designed through the combination of athlete research and artificial intelligence. It's sleek, has that futuristic look to it, and heavily features the orange air cushioning tech at the bottom in contrast to its all-white composition. Nike seems to be at the forefront of incorporating artificial design in its upcoming lineup of sneakers, and I have no doubt that Wemby's first signature shoe will have a taste of that. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about the prototype of Wemby's first signature shoe and how Nike is leading us to it. Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.